Hey there everybody, it's Alec from uh, Fishing and Adventure Tales and today we're going to talk about something that um, is a lot of fun. It's actually called Catch a Florida Memory and it's a, a free program by the Florida Wildlife uh, Commission, the FWC, and it's a unique opportunity to, it's a, a fishing challenge, so it's a unique fishing challenge opportunity to document and uh, all of your saltwater game fishes within the state of Florida. You don't have to be a Florida resident. There's no age restrictions. Just need a valid fishing license and to catch those fish in Florida waters. So what is this fishing challenge? Basically, it's a list of 70 different game fish that you can catch in Florida waters. And uh, it's a challenge, uh, like any other challenge. The Catch a Florida Memory is a fishing challenge for saltwater game fish found within the waters of Florida, whether that be from the shore, reefs, bay, estuaries, offshore, flats. If it lives in fish, if it lives and swims in Florida waters and it's considered one of the 70 game fish, and we'll have that list in the description, uh, it qualifies. So that includes everything from sailfish, bonefish, sheep's head, mangrove snappers, all kinds of fish. So you don't need specialized gear. You don't need a boat. I don't have a boat to participate in this probe. So as you add your catches to the Catch of Florida memory, there are different levels of success. There's the uh, first level is the 10 fish, then 30 fish, 50 fish, and then all 70. Currently on the Catch a Memory, uh, currently on their website for Catch a Florida Memory, there's nobody at the 70 level. So that is completely open. Uh, there's a lot of people at 10. I am currently at the 30 game fish level, although technically I probably have caught more than 40. I just didn't have the proper documentation for a dozen or so fish. Documentation includes a photo with you holding the fish or you and the fish, uh, date, time, location, uh, where you caught it and how you caught it. I've uh, been fishing in Florida for nearly 30 years. I just don't have uh, all the data, all the requirements for all the fish that I caught. But I'm going back to catch all the ones that I've already caught to add them to that list. Best thing about uh, Catch a Florida Memory, it's open to all ages, yeah, kids, adults, whomever. As long as you have a valid fishing license, the fish is uh, legally caught in Florida. You could keep the fish if it's of legal size, or you can certainly uh, practice uh, catch and release, which is highly suggested, particularly for many of the game fish that are on this list. Why participate in Catch a Florida Memory? It's a freaking fish challenge. It's a lot of fun. You you learn about different species of fish, their habitat, where they where they live, how how to catch them. Um, it's it's a it's a fun sport. They actually give prizes on their website. Um, on their website, uh, the Catch a Florida Memory has all kinds of different prizes that you could win by different categories. I, I think so far I've gotten like two T-shirts from them. Again, this is all free. It doesn't cost anything to participate. It doesn't cost anything for the prizes. It's just a, a free, fun fishing challenge that's out there. So it's not just about the catching, although you are recording your catches. It, it, for me, it's the adventure. Uh, targeting specific fish now that I've, I, I've, I've made a goal that I'm in the 30 fish tier, I wanna to get to the 50 fish tier. So I go through the list and I kind of see which fish I can, I can target next to kind of advance up on that, on that to the next tier. Um, on the uh, Florida Catch a Memory website, when you log in, you would actually see your achievements. So currently I am at 30 fish and I'm not gonna read the 30 that I, I have logged and caught, but uh, you can see in the screenshot here what those 30 fish are. And when I look back at here, I, I really remember many of these fish uh, that got submitted because you have the photos and you can see the photos of, of your catch 
that was uh, submitted and there's no time limit. You can go back as, as far as you want, as long as you have the documentation, the photo, the date, all of that stuff. Um, you can go back as far as you can. Of course, like I said, you, you don't have to release the fish, but for me, it's, it's mostly catch and release. Very few fish I do keep. And, and you learn about the magnificent uh, marine uh, life that, that is surrounding Florida, from the Keys to the Gulf Coast, uh, all up and down the, um, the East Coast, all the way up to the Panhandle. I fished all of those waters <coughs> for these fish. And um, it, it's just a fun, exciting thing to do. So if you live in Florida or visit Florida, check out Catch a Florida Memory. The link will be in the description. Um, this is a non-sponsored thing. I have nothing to do with them other than I'm, I'm excited by uh, this fun fishing challenge that really doesn't cost anything to uh, participate in. Um, so that's it for today.